Tiara's Hat Parade, written by Kelly Starling Lyons, illustrated by Nicole Tajel. Some people say I have a knack for storytelling. Well, my mama has a gift for making hats. Ladies came from all over to get a Tracy Rose millinery creation. I was her helper, the best hat model around. Hold your head high, Tiara, Mama would say as she slid her sunny day special on my head. Tangerine with gold feathers fanning out. I felt like a bird showing off its colors. Now strut. That's right, baby. Show them how it's done. I would sashay around her studio, and the ladies would clap and shout, Go on, girl! Their laughter jingled like silver charms. But when that new store opened with hats that cost way less than mama's, the stream of ladies slowed to a drip. I waited in the living room window with a smile ready to dazzle. Day after day, nobody came at all. We can't eat dreams, Mama said one afternoon, sighing. That store can afford to sell hats cheaper than I can. Daddy and I helped Mama pack away her fabric, feathers, beads, sequins, ribbons, and buttons. Then came the hardest part, tucking her hats into boxes. Daddy hugged Mama. I can work extra hours, he said. Don't worry. We'll be okay. That day... Mama closed her studio for good. Now, no one goes into that room. It just sits at the back of our house, quiet and lonely. When my school had a job opening, Mama went back to what she did before, teaching art. Can we make a new hat after school, I asked one morning. You have homework, she said. I have work to do, too. But you're always too busy. Let's talk about something else, she said, her voice sharp as a hat pin. Then it was hushed as a feather. Something happy. Every day as I walked through the house, I passed her studio. One Saturday when she was out and Daddy wasn't looking, I gently opened the door. It groaned softly like someone slowly wake, waking from a nap, and I was in. I saw Mama's hat stands, silent as soldiers standing guard. I reached for a hat box and trembled as I raised the lid. Inside was Mama's purple pride. I slid it on and felt a smile rise up in my heart. I jumped when I lifted the brim and saw her staring from the doorway. This was something special, she whispered. Can it be again, I asked. Not now, sweetie, Mama said. Just put that hat away and come on out. I told you to stay out of here. I held back tears, but did as Mama said, tucking the purple pride back into its bed. She put her arm around my shoulder. Then she locked the door behind us. But the next day at recess, I thought about Mama's hats. I pictured them as we drove home. At dinner time, I slipped in a silent prayer after grace. Amen. And please help Mama make hats again. On fun Friday at school, Mama let us choose our art project. My hands shot up. Hats, I said. She cut her eyes at me. Please, Mrs. Rose, everyone sang. Her frown turned to a smile. Okay, okay, hats it is. We made hats with tall crowns and big brims, plain ones and fancy ones. Mama swept across the room like a magician, helping us add decorations with waves of her hand. My friend Maddie put on her hat and frowned. It's just not right, she said, huffing. Mama cocked the hat to the side and held up a mirror. How about now, she asked. Tea party time! Maddie said. Her giggle reminded me of laughter spilling out of Mama's studio. I sat up straight and smiled. I knew what to do. I told Daddy my plan. That's a real good idea, baby girl, he said, smiling. We checked with the principal. Daddy got the addresses. And I got busy. Come to the hat parade at Height Elementary, I wrote in big colorful letters. Bring your favorite Tracy Rose hat and a story.
On the big day, Mama sat in the auditorium for what she thought was an evening concert. My classmates and I marched up to the stage wearing our creations. Then came the hat ladies. They winked at Mama and paraded to the front. Irving pranced to the microphone first, wearing the scarlet sass in class with his glittering black swoosh. You made this for me to wear to the opening of Ebony Fashion Fair exhibit. I looked sharp and I knew it. Miss Ball strutted up next wearing the emerald I'm telling you. When I wore this to Women's Day, everyone wanted to know where I got it. Remember this? Miss Coleman twirled in Mama's silver showstopper. I was so nervous when I won that big award. You said, with this on, jitters don't stand a chance. One after another, they shared stories. Then I stepped up and pulled out what I made. This is for you, Mama, the better day's bonnet. You made the sun shine with your hats. Maybe this will do the same for you. I laid it on her head like a crown. Mama's eyes gleamed like morning dew. That's all right, the hat lady shouted. By the time we left, Mama had a few orders. I could already picture us back in her studio. Funny thing was, I didn't just see me modeling hats anymore. I saw me making them too. Mama touched her hat and smiled. You got me good, she said her laughter like jingling charms. I think you're right, Tiara. Better days are coming. I hope you enjoyed today's read aloud. Please don't forget to support the author by purchasing their book from your local bookstore or wherever books are sold. I'll see you next time.